Hey guys, Aqua Girl here, and welcome to Penumbra Black Plague. So, um, first up, first of all, if you haven't watched me uh, play Penumbra Overture, or you're not familiar with Overture, I might suggest you watch that first, uh, simply because there might be a couple of minor spoilers in here from the first game, and also from what I, from what I've been told. Uh, Overture kind of helps explain just a few things story-wise for Black Plague, because Black Plague, I believe, follows exactly right uh, the events that uh, right at the end of Overture, so it kind of just follows from where we left off there. So um, I'll leave a link in the description for my Overture playlist, so you can quickly just check that out in case you haven't watched that yet. Um, but yeah, this is supposed to be much scarier and. Uh, more well put together, so I guess without further ado, let's start. Without this knowledge, without this foundation, you could not have the will to do what I must now ask of you. I followed my father to the Greenland Wastes to uncover his secrets. You had to know how far I was willing to go. I found a disused mining shaft and took shelter from the storm. You had to know how desperate I was. I was plagued by doubts, fears, and mysteries, and aided by a madman, Red. You had to know how lonely I was. I incinerated my best friend. Red told me he wanted to die. You had to know how guilty I felt. I ventured boldly onwards and was struck down by my own heroics. You had to know how stupid I was. All of these things, so human, so perfect, and yet still I fail to do what I must now ask of you. Let me guess, I'm gonna wake up in a jail cell or something? It kind of surprised me if there's like jail cells though in a mine. That'd be really weird. Uh, I don't know. Uh, fuck a duck. Well, let's get started. I got a coin. Uh. Uh. There. I'm gonna stay crouched in the corner here. Directions and guidelines for emergencies. Not much use now. Nice. I've noticed the sounds have gotten much better in this game. Wow. Music to my ears, really. I'm just gonna stand on the barrel for a moment. Uh. Okay, game. Will you at least let me grab my things before I, uh, before I get attacked? That'd be nice. I mean, yeah, I know. It's kind of like, why would I? You suck. Between light and shadow exists on an entire world. That world is necessarily our own. Get out now. Oh. Yeah, you know, I'd love to do that. Um, thing is... Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. There's a whole thingy-majigger. Alright. So, I have a coin. And a glow stick. Let me guess. Uh... Let me er, er, the other way. 
Oh. Did I do it? Flat coin. Uh. Oh, I wouldn't fit down there anyways. <sighs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't even have a flashlight anywhere. That sucks. <sighs> Game, are you gonna make it difficult for me, like, first thing? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that, that wouldn't make sense, would it? Um... No. Okay, monster goopy goos. I have a bag and I will throw it at you, even though I know that's not gonna work and you'll kill me like in a strike or two. But at least I could die looking fabulous. That that's all I'm gonna say, okay? Yeah. Um you Oi Uh Hehehe. <laughs> I wish I could hide in these lockers. Various paper clippings, recipe for French toast, some sort of article covering a carnival in Reno, what I think is the stock market the, the stock market review from 1989. Yeah, what's what year is it? I think last I checked it was like early 2000s. Yeah. Um, I have a coin, and I flattened it. I thought I was going to use it to like try and lockpick the door. Oop. Oh. Wee, here's a bed. Uh I can't go that way. I need You know what, game? You tell me that all the freaking time. Uh Fuck me. Is there anything over here? Oh, Gotcha. Okay. I'm just gonna stay in here. Fuck this. I wonder if the glow- oh. May 2001. I wasn't sure how long I'd been out, but my head still hurt. Either it had been long, or they hit me really hard. <laughs> I didn't have a clue what was going on, and all of a sudden I didn't really care. I was getting out. Ah. Monsters! You, you coming for me? Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, ooh, I'm going crazy. Fun. You know what? Yeah, honestly, I'm kind of surprised I didn't go that crazy, uh, you know, in the first game. Maybe I did. I did burn somebody to death. Oh, fucking hell. <sighs> okay, baby steps. Can I grab the note and then go back in the shaft? Well, I guess you got my... You know what? Hold on. There. <coughs> I don't give a fuck. I'm a coward. Well, I guess you got my last note. We're through the thick of it now. If you, like me, have just escaped into the ventilation, we shouldn't be far from the stronghold set up in the mess hole. Should be safe there. Yeah, no. No, no, it's not. I've been marking my route. If you follow that, you should be fine. Almost home and dry now. I've heard Howard's been working on a cure. Maybe you can beat this thing after all. What cure or what thing? Maybe when I get back we'll be able to sort everything out. By the time you make it through, you'll be just in time for tea medals. Medals? Huh. Maybe even some hot chocolate. How about that? I can't wait. I love hot chocolate. Neil Oswald, Chief Chemist. P.S. Be careful of the mess hall security. I designed it myself. It's sensitive to organic material. Are you talking about the creepy goopers or something else? There's batteries over there. Um. Eh. 
I'm gonna if I'm gonna die, I might as well die balls to the wall, right? Fuck it. You assholes want me, huh? Fucking pricks. Fucking a holes. I hate all of you. Yeah. Functioning soda machines. Come <laughs> to think of it, I want to mind a drink. Well, we'll get a flare. Uh. Fuck. Oh. Is there like a handle in there? There's like a piece of metal just wedged in the rock there. That's kind of funky. Okay. Um. I guess I just continue going dish way. Oh. oh yeah. Collapse, baby. Uh that looks like the wrong way to go. I don't know, guys. I'm gonna get fucked either way, so. It's a happy party. Happy fun times. Do 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 do. Totally not gonna die. Da da da. Do 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 do. Oh yeah, that's totally not gonna collapse. Totally safe. Oops. Oh. <laughs> okay, actually I was Okay, whoops. Yeah, we already read that. Uh <laughs> Okay, let's try that again. <sighs> okay, um That yeah, that makes sense. That totally work in real life too. Totally. Totally. Okay, the whispering thing needs to stop. It's annoying as shit. Yes, I get it. Spooky. Spooky. Can I, like, flip this so it's flat? No? You're, you're gonna be annoying, game? Son of a bitch. I, I can't... Oh, there we go. Oh! Yay, I made it. I'm... I'm a master blaster. Uh, uh I don't know, I'm kinda content to staying in the vents here. You know, that could be my defense system. Those fuckers come, I run just straight into here, be like, yeah, yeah, you're too fat. You can't get in here, you sent the bitches. Oh. Yep, there he is. He's an ugly motherfucker. He's like... There's a chair. I could hit him in the face of a chair. <sighs> oh, fuck a duck. Uh... Well, I can't go this way. I have to turn off the 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 steam jigger digger. Oop! Yeah, I'm gonna just sit on a box. Totally fabulous. Look at this. Just, it's my throne. All right. Yes, I'm sorry, guys. I'm stalling. Can you fucking blame me? I hate this game more than I hate your face. No, I'm sorry, I'm kidding. I don't even know what your face looks like, so... Ooh, ketchup! <laughs> Yummy! Can I... Uh... Can I open it? Ow. I need to grab a tool of some sort through that door and Mr. Spooky Spook is out there. So... Are these more Cujos? I think these are Cujos. Oh. You know, I, I, that's kind of what you get for being a dick to me in the first game. 
Although you're kind of cute at some points, because you're like, oh, where'd you go? I lost to my suck of my job. Uh, okay. Um. Can I take the chair with me? Mr. Chair, you're coming with me. Ugh. Well, no time like the present. Oh. Um. How do I proceed? I don't know. I have batteries, a glow stick, and a flat coin. That door is locked. Um. Okay. Maybe there's something I missed. Wait. Can I move the... No? Damn it. I really was thirsty for some faded rage. Sounds delicious. Probably full of all the chemicals I, g I could ever need. Uh... Oh. There's batteries here. Fucking box trying to hide them from me. I don't think batteries are gonna help me. Maybe if I clear some of this rubble there'll be something? I don't know. Maybe I just need to bash a rock against the thermostat? Uh. Uh. Dope. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing how I can just lift this shit with these. I'm freaking... You know, if I'm so freaking strong, why can't I take down Bob? Ugh. Get me out of here! I don't give a fuck if there's an alien out there who wants to kill me. Okay, so I need to look up some help real quick. And, uh... I was kinda close. At, you know, me beating this freaking thing. Well... Free soda, motherfucker! Sweet! Seriously, how the hell was I supposed to figure that out? Just freaking game. I'm not a cheapskate. I don't think that way. Alright, well, I got the sodi Pops. It's a can of soda. Not my favorite flavor, but sweet enough. Still ice cold. Uh, no, I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. Well... Uh, I just wasted a flare. Fuck me. Hey, reminiscent to the, you know, <laughs> the overture. Uh. Yes, heavy breathing. It's very exhausting climbing an event. Oh. Sucks to be you. Chef Carlito is waiting for you in the mess hall with insert today's specials here. A happy worker is an efficient worker, and only efficient workers will be fed. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Looks like you had some bad diarrhea there, buddy. Look at all that ketchup. You were a slob. Seriously. Alright, well, there is like lasers separating me from Bob, so I feel like I'm okay at least here. But not on the other side. On the other side, I'm gonna be fucked. Patient notes Darren Gray. Sex male, age 32, nationality, Al. Oh, Aus. Australian. Role excavation team. First symptoms, patient reported mild disorientation and was asked to lie down, mild sedatives administered. Hour three, patient develops a rash on his neck, possible infection entry point. Hour four, two out of three of full symptoms manifested, deja vu, patient reports that he has already undergone standard tests when I am the only one who could have administered them. Paranoia, said testing is ab uh, abhorrent to the patient. I have no doubt that the third sy symptom, uh, oral distortion, will take hold within the next 30 minutes. Abnormal noises, even disembodied voices, and alternate personalities are commonly reported in uh, other infected staff. 
Hour 6, patient secured as per archaic standard procedure. Bolted the bastard down myself. We can't protect ourselves from infection, but we can take precautions with the infected. That makes sense. So Bob is just an infected patient. That's my theory. Hour 7. Patient pronounced expired by common consent of all those present. Expiration was caused by an overdose of insulin. Ew. I administered the dose myself at 6.12. Death did not occur for a further 13 minutes. Three times the expected figure. I wonder what extent Gray could still be considered a man. Well, I could say something very sexist right now, but does he still have a penis? Yes. Then he's a man. Uh, oh, right, right click. Whatever this thing does, it looks like it'll trigger if I try to pass. Actually, I'll just disintegrate from the looks of it. Ugh. Beautiful. Okay. Got one over. Can I... Oh. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I can't. How can I help you? I'll admit that did freak me out when I heard that. Well played, game. Well fucking played. Let's get this ready. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'm I'm sorry, buddy. I don't know what I can do to help you. Um. Have you tried a nice nap? No. Uh. Yeah. I, I don't know how to help you. Uh, I am so not ready for this. See, danger's on the other side. This is safety as far as I'm concerned. Bob will just d disintegrate himself if he tries to get at me. <sighs> well, no time like the present. Oh, fuck. Uh, poker hour Friday night. Be there. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Oh, shit! Okay, well. Hit, hit. Okay. <laughs> uh. Whoo. Okay. First scream in the first episode. That's pretty good. All right. Um. Well, the door is locked, and I gotta clear that out. Uh, fuck you, Bob. Oh. Like. If you don't do what we tell you to do, you're gonna die. Help you? I'm sorry, buddy. I can't. Like I said, you know, sleep it off, bud. Um. Well, I think Bob did that to you. And all I can say is I'm sorry. I, uh,. I would like to help. Don't know how I can. Okay. Okay, I could jump over that good. <sighs> Fucking thing's gonna explode. Oh! It was an explosion. Somebody's like, rib, 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 rib. Happy fun times. Uh, is there a save point? Like, ever? That 
I would really suck if I had to do all of this without a save. Oh god, that's heavy. Ugh. I want to go back in the vent. Fuck all this. Vent is love, vent is life. Ow. <laughs> that's funny. Look at that. Physics. Uh, I'm gonna put my glow stick away. <sighs> Hi, Bob. Feel like you're gonna be in this fucking room, aren't you? Fuck you, Bob. Fuck you. I hate you, and I hope you get you die of a razor sharp dildo. Yep, he's out here. Yep. Come on. Bob is here. Well, guys, let's say hi to Bob. Bob! Hello! Uh, I go in there and it's gonna trigger that shit. And I'm going to ship my pants. Uh, I hate you, Bob. Okay, Bob. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? Just gonna sit in the corner. I'm gonna Blair Witch it. <laughs> I have to grab it, don't I? There's something in there I gotta grab and I'll trigger it and I don't wanna. Can I not? There's a save point! Inch toward it. Oh. Okay! I think that's a good place to leave off for the first episode. So, uh, thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.